me la la. Don't bless on me with dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, where, where the party there today? Hey, mama, hey, I ever say. Shake your body, man, you're gonna. Hey, mama, hey, I ever say. So where the party day today? You make sad for no reason. Don't you know, say this be our season? Let's go. Good evening, good dawn, good whatever you find yourself. This is IOT Tuesday, and I'm your Australia Samuel Adrian. Sorry for the late in transmission. A couple of things were happening just you know before it was time for us to go live. So I had to restart the machine, had to run some updates, had to do stuff. But hey, the most important thing is we're back on live today. Yes, we've missed I think one or two episodes or one or two days of iot tuesday it was ramping up doing a couple of things but we are back you know back and in today's episode we're going to be doing part three of the ballot box tracking so when we come back i'm going to give you the full details till then this is the intro Awesome, 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 awesome. Welcome to the IoT Tuesday show, the show that demystifies IoT in this entirely. Now, sorry for the um, two, I think two weeks or a week that we missed. Uh, there's a couple of things going on that I had to, you know, deal with and work on. So that's why we didn't have um, a show. However, we're back with some new and interesting things going on. But before, as always, you know that I always like to bring to you stuff happening in the tech ecosystem so let's just get right into that the first is the mct west africa cloud bootcamp 2020 yes it is everything on the microsoft ecosystem from azure to microsoft 65 to net to power platform everything it's been running for the past two saturdays so continues this saturday and then five other saturdays uh so this saturday i am on i'll be talking about interfacing iot with the power platform so make a deal with me if you haven't registered go register and enjoy and be part of this awesome 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 event the second thing yes is microsoft ignite if you haven't registered please go 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 register ignite is happening 22nd to 24th of september 2020 and then the most important thing is yes yours truly i will be speaking and meet your power platform community table talk so myself, Rebecca is there, Laura Graham Brown is there, a couple of interesting people are there. So make a date with me. Don't make sure you register for Ignite. My ignite.microsoft.com. My ignite.microsoft.com. All right. Make sure you do that. And then finally, the NIIT and Open Labs are doing um, kind of like a, a career fair. If you're interested in becoming a full stack software developer, you need to go for this career fair. The first one was last Friday. The upcoming one is this Friday at two from 2 to 3.30 p.m. Register at the link on your screen. 
NIT info session. It's a bit.ly link. Register, book your book your seat, and then go learn how to be an awesome, 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 awesome full stack developer. Well, with that out of the way, now if you're if it's your first time watching the show, make sure you go subscribe. Yeah. Ding 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 ding. Go subscribe to the channel so that anytime we release new videos, you're gonna see it. And also if you're interested in IoT and have some projects or things you want to work work on, you know, you can just reach out to me and then, hey, I will be very um, honored and, you know, glad to help you uh, solve and do those things. All right. Um, okay. So last, the last session we had, let's actually take you to the bench. So the last session we had, um, we connected this GPS um, module. And then we're able to read um, data from it. It was not really that clear and obscured, but we're able to connect this to our Arduino using this shield, and then we're able to get data. Now that is the first part of the ballot box tracking system that we're, we're building. We, we mentioned that we will use it to track the box, and then we wanted to use something. So in today's episode, I'm going to be using uh, the magnetic switch, as you can see here. This we're going to use to track when the ballot box is open or closed. So look at this as is, let's say something running from the top of the box, uh, top of the from the top of the, the lid on the ballot box, and any time you know this closes, it sends a signal. So that's what we'll be connecting in today's session. Now, just a quick you know a quick kind of like recap of what this whole thing is. This magnetic switch thing mechanism works in a very simple way. So there is the 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 relay part is here which is triggered when this magnet comes close to it, it shifts, you know, stuff in it, and that closes the circuit to close. Now, if you look closely, um, I'm going to put, this This is just a bunch of, you know, screws. To show that there's a magnet, take a look at this. Do you see that? So this is just the magnet. This is the magnet, magnet piece of it. Look at that. Boop. This is the magnet piece of it, all right? So what happens is the same, the same phenomenon happens here. When this gets close to this, it, it it, the same thing, you know, attracts the ping and shifts it, and then that closes the circuit. So this is how you get to know if it's closed or open. This same mechanism is used uh, for windows, doors, and security systems. So when your window is slide open, the circuit is broken. If it closes, you know that. So it's a similar concept. So what I'm trying to achieve to, in today's session is that um, we'll connect this and then be able to track if it's open or closed. All right, and then that will be the second part of our system. Then um, in another episode, uh, we'll, we'll try to connect this gyroscope to get to see if the ballot box is being shifted. All right, we're going to use this. And then once that is done, we'll put all together in a mini ballot box project. So we'll put all of them together and read a telemetry. So let's get right into it. What do we need to do? Awesome. Let's get right to the box. All right, so to do that, I'm just going to um, go right here. Let's open this. Um, where's my phrasing? I should close my phrasing. Actually, let's go to desktop. Let's see if you can see me down there. And if you have any questions, um, just put them in the chat. I would, you know, answer them. And if you're joining us, call a friend to join a friend to call a friend to call another friend, blah, 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 to join us. Let's have fun. Now, just to illustrate it, I think how um, we're going to move this. Let's see if I can get my my phrasing up open. This is going to show us the um, the way that I will set that up. So let's move. Yeah. So very, very simple. Why did the phrasing up move here? All right, so we have our freezing app here. Now, if you don't know what this freezing app is, this app just allows you to create schematics, all right, of um, of your setup. So if you want to put stuff on the breadboard and all that. So let's do a new, uh, just a new breadboard, okay? Even though I'm not using a breadboard, I just want to put this here. So I can go to the parts on this side and then just look for the Arduino. And I think this is the Uno. So it has, yeah, it has a, you know, a parts library. Let's see. 
I need to be sure. Is it the Uno? No, this is the shield. The B. Uh, where is that? Where is that? This is the SD. It's this Uno. Yep. So I bring this here. So we have our Arduino. We move this here. So that's our Arduino, right? And I'm going to go back to my parts list. I'm curious to see. Let me know if you're. If you're watching me from um, Facebook, uh, let me know if the the quality is the picture quality is fine. Uh, because what happened the other day was that we were actually live, and then for some reason the stream just went boop. The stream just went kaput. So yeah, yeah. So I just have this here to monitor and be sure that. You know, we're actually not doing it. So we have this here. So let me go ahead in here and look for the magnetic switch. Uh, hopefully, let's just do magnet here and see. Let's. 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 Let's try the magnetic contact switch. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, no, 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 the things are in the library. Sometimes you need to. I think I think it it is, but let's see. All right. Sometimes the naming also becomes like you know, a huge. Uh, let's let's see. Oh, let's do. Let's try this. Let's try the door. Let's try the door sensor. Type. Uh, do do do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have that here. Okay, no problem. Uh, no big deal. Let me see if I can get it online. See if we can get the the freezing for that one. But sometimes, you know, other people, yeah, some people also do like um. Some people actually build the parts. And make it available so we can actually go and um yeah see someone has someone has a part someone has this part here yeah yep 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 i think this is this this is this is like a uh that's interesting that is very very interesting so someone um actually did let's see so someone someone created it uh let's see let me show you this so this is what someone did with the freezing so you see that i mean the, the this part this part is actually very quite easy to create you know so i could create this part and have it connected but not not on today's episode i mean it's, it's just a matter i can go in and create the part myself and add to it. Just have to be an SVG graphic, all right? An SVG graphic of this type, and then just connect the leads to it. Um, so this is something is this is almost something like what we're looking at. So we'll connect the switch. Uh, I think I had mine on pin four. So what happens is that you connect one to uh, to power or one to what um, a, a pin, and then one to ground voltage and ground. So um, that's basically how that is set up. If we should go to the bench right now, you realize that um, if you look closely, I need to get myself, um, how do you call it, uh, kind of like that microscope camera. I have one, but I just haven't been able to set it up. So if you look closely on here, so this one here is on pin 4. Um, it's on pin 4. 
and then um, this one here is to ground right that's just how basic it is so I'm going to take this out of the way so just just so you see this so let's get back let's get back here all right so I was trying to do this but let's see if there's time we can go through the process of how to build your fruits in part so let's go ahead and open uh, where is our Arduino ID open this okay so quite easy I was also thinking that when when we when we do that I would then connect um, like the the buzzer all right so that if it closes to make noise if it opens or something else but we can add that later on so once we have the code running we can we can add that right. so let's go ahead and do a new let's create a new sketch hopefully you can see this so quite easy let's go in here and then let's do this is a constant an int and then we'll call this uh we'll call this a sensor okay and as you can see i put mine on pin four right this is on pin four so let me know if you can if this is you know big enough for you to see because i i really want you to you know look at this pretty well and if you have any questions uh, please feel free to drop it in in chat uh, whether it's on Facebook or it's on Twitter or anywhere that you are you're watching me right so it's there and then um, I want to create um, a, a state right an in state where basically all I'm saying is that zero a state of zero um, so my earpiece is starting to be out of battery. Let me actually connect this to it so we don't lose don't lose this. Okay, so zero all right would be close would tell me it is close. Okay. All right, and then one will be open. Okay. So this is just getting that done okay so with this let me just put this here nothing so nothing too fancy obviously we define the pin all right which is going to be uh four all right the sensor is four and then we define a state which we're going to use to track whether it's on or off okay then in the setup uh this is what we do uh yeah let's get rid of this so for if you have if you're very you know been doing arduino for a while you know we have the pin mode and then our sensor pin now this is the key here all right you need to ensure you're doing input all right and pull up yep yep because just pulling up voltage because it's just this is like pulling up voltage you know just to signal that so that's what we're doing that and then in the loop this is the never ending states that your code application is going to be running in so what do we do we say that now let the state okay be equal to very simple it's just like uh you're doing the guitar read all right we are reading from it what are we reading from we're reading from the sensor okay or that pin so to speak all right and then very easy we're just doing a simple state here but now here's the thing so they are using um what do i say let's see let's let's do this let's actually do this uh, uh, uh okay let's let's do this very quickly i want to this is what i want to do because so I had wanted to connect, also connect it to this. Um, let me quickly just flip to. I wanted to connect it to the, you know, the, the LCD, all right, to 
to show whether it's open or close. Okay, but let's take it, you know, one thing at a time. So what I'll do is that I would let's connect it, make sure it's it's working first before we we try to connect this and then the buzzer to it. Okay. Awesome. So another thing that I'll do because as of now we don't have any way to to check it, so we're just going to print it out to the serial monitor. Okay. So as part of the setup, I'll go ahead and say right serial dot begin and then the 9600 baht rate very common one okay so all i'm going to do right i'm not, I'm not going to you know i'm not going to loop or anything all right but now we're not just going to loop anything we just we just need um the state okay so what we are going to do is let's try this let's Let's just make this quite simple. Let's do the serial. Uh, come on. Let's do serial dot print. Okay, and then let's just print the state. So that's all we are doing. Okay, we're just looping. We're reading. We're just reading and printing the state. Reading and printing the state. Okay. Uh, ballot box. Yes. Let's go to ballot box and let me call this. Uh, switch. All right. Okay. So with this done, what we need to do now, we need to connect our Arduino. Where is that cable? Let me connect the Arduino. Um. Hopefully this is connected. Well, I have a 